Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing an April favorites video. I have quite a few things to share with you and I'm excited because I feel like I haven't done a favorites video in a while and I have a lot of goodies that I've been obsessed with that I'm going to talk about today. So let's get into it. First favorite is makeup and this is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I am obsessed with this. It's so amazing wearing it today. My skin has been a lot better, which is really nice because most days I don't wear makeup, but when I do, I like this. I would say it's like medium coverage. I do still have like redness on my skin, so this does a great job of canceling that out. It stays on really well, and I just love the way that it matches me like the, this color is a good match for my skin i have like oily skin i guess i would say combination but mostly oily and this works amazing obviously i set it with a powder and throughout the day i like to blot my skin but it doesn't like melt off my face which is really nice it's oil free my next favorites go hand in hand so this is the anastasia beverly hills glow kit and i have the one in gleam it's the silver packaging i'm absolutely obsessed with this palette and i use this brush to go along with it this is the anastasia beverly hills a23 brush and i use this color mainly this is my favorite this is my second favorite today i have on crushed pearl on my cheekbone and i have it above my lip and on my nose um, as an eyebrow highlight this palette is incredible just this product in general the glow kit depending on your skin tone and what kind of highlights you like there's two palettes there's this one and then i think the other palette has a little bit more of yellow toned highlighters and these ones are more warm and i love these just oh my god it's so good and with this brush I was buying this and they were like, you need this brush. And I was like, okay. And they were right. It's amazing for highlighting. Last makeup product that I'm going to show you, I'm also wearing right now. And this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I seriously love their stuff. This is the um, liquid lipstick in Pure Hollywood. I'm obsessed with this color. It's so pretty. I literally wear this like every day of my life. The formula is amazing. It dries matte. It stays a really long time, but it's not impossible to get off. I have Kylie Lip Kit. I do like it, but I actually prefer these, and these are a lot more accessible. This is such a good liquid lipstick. If you ever see me in a nude lip, it's most likely this color. Now let's talk about some skincare stuff. So this is super fun looking. It's a great color. This is the Michael Todd Sonoclear Elite Brush. I'm obsessed with this. It's so amazing. This brush helps you deep clean your skin, but it's also super gentle. This is going to get all the nasty stuff out of your face, but it's not going to leave your skin stripped. This brush has six speeds, which is super cool. So... And then there's like a boost setting, which is super cool. This thing is waterproof, so you can take it in the shower with you, which is where I like to use it. This brush makes my skin look and feel great. I'm obsessed with it. I have been trying so hard to get my skin clear and glowing, and I have finally reached that point, and this brush has definitely helped with that process. This brush will run you about $150, but I'm gonna leave you guys a 20% off discount code down below if you're interested. Along with this, I've been obsessed with this cleanser from Michael Todd. This is the Charcoal Detox Deep Pore Gel Cleanser. Charcoal is amazing for your body in general, for your face. For your insides, I drink charcoal lemonade like all the time. This is great for unclogging your pores, so after wearing a bunch of makeup and taking it off, washing your face with this is amazing. It's going to get all of that gunk out. This works great at getting rid of excess like dead skin and oils. I have oily skin, so this works amazing at the end of the day to wash off all of my nasty oils. This product is also paraben free, so it's good for your skin, and it's cruelty free, so it's good for the animals. My last 
skincare favorite is this moisturizer. This is the Embryolith Late Cream Concentrate. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce the name of this, but this is the moisturizer that all of the makeup artists use. All the models use this moisturizer. It's super amazing. I do have oily skin, but I get super dry around my nose, so this is super great to apply before my makeup, before my primer. I put it on, I let it soak in for about three minutes, and then I, you know, go on with my makeup. This works amazing. I use it just on a regular basis after I wash my face or whatever. It's not too heavy, but it definitely moisturizes your skin. When you first put it on, you feel a little bit like there's like a lot of product on your face, but then your skin will suck it all up. And every time I get my makeup done, the makeup artist uses this, so it must be good. Green juice break. Moving on to non, you know, beauty skincare favorites. I have been obsessed with the show Dexter. I just finished it yesterday. I watched all eight seasons. It's on Netflix, so if you have a Netflix account, hit it up. It's amazing. If you don't like gore, I would say maybe don't watch it. There's not, it's not like crazy, but there's definitely some blood involved. It's a great show. I'm obsessed with like any type of crime, like drama suspense type show and that's exactly what it is if you've seen dexter you know how amazing it is there's eight seasons and i watched every single episode of every season and i finished it last night and let me just say that ending though i highly suggest watching it and now i'm on the market for a new show to watch so leave a comment down below and let me know i like cooking shows i like crime shows and i like any sort of like ridiculous scripted show like 90210 or Gossip Girl. Now, let's talk about some music favorites. Dropped out of school, now we done rich. This sound like some 4301 shit. Love Drake and Jay-Z and Kanye are on this song, so of course, it's so good. I am obsessed with Some Kind of Drug by g -E It's featuring Marky Basie Bassy, and they performed this at Coachella, and I died. Just, oh, so good, so good. Gotta mention, Come and See Me, Party Next Door featuring Drake. Doesn't make sense, no. Just got a real, things are getting intense now. You talking about is come and see me for us. Come and see me for us. Drake's part in this is so good. Let me just fast forward. How hard is it to let you know when I'm coming home? That way you could be prepared, maybe take a couple sick days and I'll miss pain. I just get so carried away. It's so good. Last song is Flume's new song. I really, really like it. At first, I was like, I don't know, because it's nothing like super different and crazy, but it's definitely like a summer jam. I think it only came out a week ago, so I haven't been listening to it the entire month, but ever since it came out, it's been on replay. I'm really done because I would sit here all day and just jam to music on camera because I'm annoying. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you later. Bye! Mwah.